Right, right, boys, we're going to do a bit of order from 2022-2023, so I'll say... Boom ball managers. <laughs> Frauds. Get them up, boys. Get them up. You're Willy. Huh? Just put it right there next Aye, to his you're, fucking you're face. You're tiny wee Willy. But no, wait, but your tits. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> it's upside down. It's a bastard. Right, so Michael Beale. Lord of Fraud. Oof. It's got to be oh, for this season. Views. got to be for this season. For this season, it's got to be. Yeah, I'd say look. Uh, it's harsh. Although though. he's got, it's not his players yet. It's not his players, and he's come up against you know a, a, a brilliant manager who deserves to be at Tottenham. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> I think Michael Bill will be a success at Rangers. So what? Uh, that, that means you think he'll beat Celtic under Ange Postecoglou? No, but he might win a cup or something. That That's success, no success mate. at Rangers, mate. If he doesn't win the league next year, he'll be gone. Do you have to win the league? Oh, you need to win everything. Unless they get beat by a point. That's a difference. Spurs went fuck all. Celtic are a far superior side at the moment. I know, but Rangers were a far superior side before Ange came in. And yeah. he had to change that and he done it quickly. So, if you're going to speak, make sure you're speaking sense. Because I don't want to listen to dog shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, but no, you can't, you're going up against Postacot. It's hard. There's two, there's two teams in the league that you're fighting against. Well, you couldn't make If it. you've got a brilliant Celtic time with a brilliant manager. Yeah, but Rangers got to the UEFA Cup final and Ange still pipped it. That, that, that was a team that was good enough to get to the UEFA Cup final. That fucking trophy that you keep banging on about Spurs winning 80 years ago. And he still managed to beat that team. Well, brand right, so hold on. So if Michael Bill finishes second next season, but he wins the Scottish Cup? Depending on how they finish second. Right, if, if by point. No, nah, nah, yeah, that would be alright. That's alright. Yeah, if they're out of the league early on, you'll be out the job. Right, so, so, so you don't need to win the league then? You need to be having a... You need to be right amongst yeah, it. Right amongst yeah, but when he come in, Celtic were already gone this season. No, no, they're, they're no judging. Miles like, away. It's the two cups we're judging. He's been put out with Celtic twice in the two cups. And he's got knocked out by Celtic twice. Yeah. Mm. Celtic are a really good I team. Know, I know, it is. I mean, it's it has quite to be harsh, but, harsh, but yeah. yeah, all right. Uh, Postacoglu, got to be. Yeah, he's, he's top draw. Yeah. I, I really like him. I like everything about him. It's Conte. Conte. Fraud. Oh, you wouldn't need to say, wouldn't you? But fraud. But, I mean, where right, were they in the league when he got sacked? Fourth? Uh, I mean, is that not where Spurs should be? With that budget and with that... I don't get it. I think I'm changing it, Lord. Yeah. Fourth mate, look at him since he's left. Free fall. Can't disagree with you on that. I think he's a brilliant manager. I think he'll go elsewhere. But I think he was the wrong fit for Tottenham because of the way he acts. And I think in the end... The but style does he only of... act like that because of what's going on above him? Yeah, but no, but you've also got to get, a, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to get the best out of what you've got. But he did, they were fourth. Yeah, but the football and the style of football was horrendous. No, no, did you kind of play a great style horrendous. of football with the knocked that out of the got. Champions League. The style of football, we got knocked out by Sheffield United in the FA Cup. Mm. What did you make his press conference where he slaughtered everybody? I thought it was brilliant, but also outrageous, you know? Like, he, was, he said the truth, and we all want to hear the truth, but when you're the manager of a football club, you can't come out and just basically slaughter everyone and expect to stand a job. I don't disagree with what he said. He did want out for a long time. But I think he wanted out and Five. I think he'd had enough. But I think he also had personal issues as well mm. this season with people losing people close to him and he was ill himself. So I think he'll go on and be brilliant somewhere I'm else. Lord. I'll say fraud. Wow. Uh, German football expert here, so this would be good to get his opinion. Uh, Nagelsmann. Fraud. Wow. Disagree, Lord, for me. So he's been sacked with Bayern Munich. Yeah, so what's, what's Lord about that? Because he was a brilliant manager, and his actual his win his, so win, brilliant manager, but his win ratio. Yeah, but it was a sh they, they sacked him because he was ridiculous. Wait, no, wait, why did they sack him? They sacked him because he fell out with some of the players. So that's good, isn't it? Fun with your players. They sacked him when they were in, still in the Champions League, right? And then they played Man City, got absolutely battered. Thomas Tuchel's come in and had a beast. Nagelsmann for me was the future of Bayern Munich, and they threw it away getting rid of him. I, I mean, that, that's mad to say How that can you get rid of a young manager who's got an unbelievable record? His win percent ratio is one of the best in German football. And he lost a few what games, players, fell out with some of the players. Who? He fell out with Manuel Neuer. How do you know that? Because he broke his leg, didn't he, on a skiing trip. Oh, and he, and he, yeah, he went on a skiing trip and broke his leg. When he was like, in, like, oh, in the yeah. off-season. I know, but... So he was out for the but, season. And then he <clears> fell out with a goalkeeper coach, fell out with Mane. So I think there's been issues there, and I think they thought, oh no, we'll get rid of him. I think it's a massive mistake. I think he's one of the best young well, managers that, well, in the world. That, you mean, for the UFC, <coughs> they've sacked him because that's blatant lies, because they barely won a league game when they came back for the winter break. Dortmund were top of the league. They're so, drawing. 
They're drawing they were barely winning a game. And Bayern you can't do that. And they're not PSG, but my God, PSG are completely an arsehole. Yeah, but, yeah, but PSG is a, a one horse race. It ain't like that in Germany. No, it's a decent team. I'm talking teams. about, I'm talking put, about them put them out the Champions League, which was a great result for Bayern. But what I'm saying is, PSG were brutal. In that league, they were barely winning a game when they came back. I don't know. I don't like the wee guy. And when Why Hans, don't you like him? When Hansi, he I, doesn't I, smell his balls. When Hansi Flick get let go, he was sniffing about the training ground. When Hansi Flick was still in job and I didn't like it. Who was Nagelsmann? Nagelsmann was. And Sa- Sa- what's his name? Salah Hamidic. Yeah. Was in Nagelsmann's house, the two of them, having a laugh while Hansi Flick was going to win the league. And he was in the training ground speaking to players. I didn't like it. He, he smelled, I smell a rat and that's why he's out. The rat's out. So you're talking rubbish, but he fell out with Neuer no. and Neuer breaking his leg. So they've sacked him because Neuer broke his leg. Can you imagine? Can you believe no. that? No, Mike, no, they, here. That's a great f- mate. Fraud. I still think he's a lord. A lord for getting sacked. I mean, that. He's What's a lord he because he's top manager. I think Bayern Munich made a big mistake. For this, but that, on this season, what has he done as a lord? We didn't get the opportunity to finish the job. He got sacked and before not, the Champions League. Uh, he got sacked though. Yeah, he but he got sacked. sacked. So uh, but for me, he's still a lord because they was they was still gonna. They, they, he got sacked. And you then don't they just get sacked for, You Dortmund. don't get sacked for nothing. I mean, you're, you're well, making things fell out. Listen, we're not behind the dressing room at Bayern well, Munich, are we? Out, we know you're well, he fell out with the players. That's why they got rid of him. Who told you that? What about the thing about his wife? Was his wife not leaking the team? Or his girlfriend leaking the team? Is that See, he fails to mention that. He what? His girlfriend was leaking the team at the paper or something? She worked for the media, is that no, right? No, there you go. And he fails to mention that. He noticed he, he felt like we were the players. As a so. manager, Nagelsmann's brilliant. Bayern Munich have gone downhill since he's left. But so has Tottenham and you've just put Conte as a fraud. Outstanding. Yeah, but Conte, yeah, but Conte's co- because Conte come in to win a trophy at Tottenham, so he hasn't won one. Oh, so that's why he's a fraud. Is. For me, he's a lord. Nagelsmann would have won the league. That's what's good about it. And you would have had a better, you had a, would have had a better chance of winning the, the Champions League match against Man City with Nagelsmann. Uh, Steven Gerrard. Got Fraud. To be in it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I love. Does that Steven. break your heart saying that? Uh, yeah, I love Stevie G. He's a top. Did you get your top? I seen. Yeah, he sent me down the top because I, I, when I got divorced, um, all my shirts that I'd got over the years went missing. So I'm just trying to recoup them all, and I text him and. Said, would you be able to send me down a shirt? I had one of his Liverpool shirts, and he said, I haven't got a Liverpool one, but I've got an England one that I can send you, and I'll, and I'll send it down to you. So he done it straight away, yeah. Do you want one back? <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a bit of Ricky top, sign. <laughs> uh, I sent him in that open goal shirt. Jake, he's done now in management. No, come on. I don't know if he wants to, does he want to keep in management? I, I've seen him do yeah, a bit of does. pundit trials. England games, he was good. Yeah, no, he's, of course he's a good pundit, but I think for me, he's a winner. He wants to be in the dugout. I think he'll get a job, go back in somewhere. What level? I think him and Lampard need to go and get learn their try, learn Last. them, fighting the mistake. They've been learning on the job. Be an assi- do you think being an assistant? Or, or no, no. Just no. going to different clubs to watch them? No. Would you what? have him back at Rangers? Do you think he'd come back up here, Gerard? No. Would the fans have Jenna? I don't know, it was very split when he left. Very split. I don't know. I think they probably would now. But then a lot of people were giving Bill credit for the work Jenna had done, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And, they, and, and when Bill left and went to QPR when he was at Aston Villa, when Aston Villa goalie. started to go. Yeah. And the big goalkeeper from Argentina came out and praised Bill, so he's never seen a, a coach that does that much. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, this one's this will be a debate. Fraud. Very cost. Fraud. I'm going fraud. Very cost. I kind of watch How that he's guy. a man, man you play play plays like he's got a pair of fucking high heels on. Nah, he's not good enough, mate. Yeah, it's, it's harsh, though, because he's come in and done a job. What, he's ran a bit? He's, he's come in and done a job, but what were you expecting from him? Like, you know, you knew what you was going to get when he come in. Why this He was never going to be a top player, but they needed someone. Martial gonna... should hang his head in shame that Vicos plays ahead of him. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. I agree with that, but Martial's a joke, though. He isn't doesn't he? care, Martial. Martial no. don't care about football enough. The big man will, how many goals has he scored? One or something? Oh, Two. that's brutal. One goal, I think he scored. Would you take him at Celtic? No, he's rubbish. He's rubbish, that no. big guy. Couldn't he get a game he for Bournemouth? He walks in Celtic time. Who no, plays at like, Who plays up front for Celtic? No, he wouldn't have walked into Celtic game. Spurs went, Keogh goes, he said no. <coughs> no big enough or something. He doesn't walk into Celtic team, mate, believe me. Big horse, no. goes very good. Then Ange, when he signed a player like that. No, no, no. So, what are you, all going fraud? Fraud, fraud, fraud. Richarlison. Fraud. What a good player for now. Ah, but he's scored one goal this year. Mm. Mate, he scored about 10 goals offside, didn't he? Celebrates, him, <laughs> celebrates every <laughs> one of the shots. He's all day. He, <laughs> is, <laughs> he is a f- massive fraud. Is he? He's been a bad signing for us. We spent 60 million quid on him and he's brought. He's scored one goal. No, but mate, he had, he's he bopping had him out doing this eh? fucking stupid pigeon dance. He like, hardly gets a game for now. 
Yeah, because when he plays, mate, he's been toilet. Honestly, it's like playing Slaney at left wing. Like, yeah, he's the, the so angel, bad. He did the angel, so he knows he's beat. <laughs> he's so no, honestly, he's oh, been, he's if, been if a bad spot. Again, you're talking a bit upstairs. See if you're going to play with one striker. <coughs> why sign with Adelson? Because you signed him because he wanted he was going to play him on the right, play him off the left. You can play him best. as a backup striker. Like you played him in games that Kane hasn't. When he's been given opportunities to play, mate, he's been rubbish. Has he? Huh? It's been really bad. I like really him as a player. Like in the World Cup, I thought it was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Right? But big games, big moments in the Premier League, nah, not for me. Miles off it. Miles Throw off it. Throw it. Daniel Levy. <laughs> I mean... He looks like he should be fucking working. A wee villain, isn't he? Uh, have you, uh, have you gone villain, that wee guy looks like? Have you, are you close with him? No. Not Do you know what to talk to, though? No. no. I've had one conversation when, he, you know, when I signed a new deal with him, but he's a businessman. Did he really show? No, he sold me, didn't he? Can I ask, is he good... For Spurs, for a business point of view, yeah. he's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, he's a, like as a business manager, what he's done to Tottenham Football Club as a franchise is incredible. The stadium that he's built, you know, the 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 fact that you've now got NFL games there, the fact you've got concerts there, the, the amount of money that he's making in terms of revenue for Tottenham, he's a genius, right? He's one of the best in the business. But for him to actually run a football club for success and win trophies. He's, he's horrendous. 20 years, I mean, hardly won nothing. So, so is it him that decides out. how much money they spend and the budget? Is that Daniel? I think it's recruitment it? as well, but the people he puts in charge as well to bring the right players in, like the recruitment, like he hires them people and the people that he's hired have just not been good enough. Mm. And then the decisions that he makes when he's getting rid of people, getting rid of players and bringing players in and managers, miles off it in terms of a f running a football club. But a business sense, the best around. This next guy is a joker, isn't he? He's a hero, this guy. Todd, what's his name? Todd Bowley. He's what a the fucking fuck is joke. He doing? He's not got I a mean, clue. He what's thinks going on. he's playing football manager, this guy, doesn't he? Like, he literally thinks he's took over a football club. And will, will Chelsea fans get him out, do you think? No. I don't know how you will. Have they got the power the Listen, mm. I speak to Chelsea fans a lot, and a lot of them have had enough of him already because they're like, he ain't got a clue what he's doing. He thinks he can just rock over to the Premier League, spend loads of money, and it gives you success. But look at Everton, it don't work like that. Yeah. He's had a big bite in the ass, and he's realised that it's, you know, the Premier League is ruthless. Don't matter who you are, how much money you've got, you don't do it right, and you get the right people in, you get fucked over. I so. felt like he'll be biting the ass. You look like an ass. <laughs> he won't stop spending, though. <laughs> an 80 year old. What? <laughs> you look like an ass. <laughs> There's only, honestly, R.I.P. Jamie O'Hara the day, isn't it? R.I.P. Jamie O'Hara. That's Slaney, I've missed you, mate, but let's... Let's, let's, you know, hug it, He's what, hug let's it. give it another year before we What about we an arm wrestle to finish no, it? No, no. The best one is, I mean, intelligence, fit boy. It, it's hard to come back for that when you struggle, isn't it? It is really hard to think come back for that. think you your intelligence. I think he was. He came in with insults, and by the way, you've not heard insults for the last year now, haven't you, know? He sat back and his ass Because, because I've soaking. got no more to say to you. I mean, there's nothing more I can say. <laughs> Will you hug it out? I, I, you, I honestly believe in the boat my heart you're scared of him I, I really believe a man of your age why would I be scared, scared of him I like him no no I, I like him I, I, think speak, so. I actually speak to him like, I only speak to you when you Listen, when I turn up as here. I said but I, miss, like, boy. I like so si. he's got a bit about get the gravestone you know you're he's a manager I'm he's got a bit of respect in the game he can present I'll face you know. you're getting dug out tonight <laughs> you're getting buried <laughs> Uh, me and Si, you know, I feel like we could be actually be mates. Pretty good, si, but you, you <laughs> just... You just buried all day. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to get buried. Pleasure. Pleasure, Go on, fuck off. Go <laughs> 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 <laughs>